This year it took until summer for the boys of summer to fly back to town, but they're now cleared for takeoff by the federal government, allowed to bypass the mandatory 14-day quarantine. They'll be at the Rogers Center this weekend. I mean, I'm excited. I live, I live right beside it, so hopefully the, uh, the dome's open. I can see in a little bit. If the government is making the citizens suffering, why not them? They should be made to quarantine. Eventually, quarantine does get to you and you have to get all your health. I think it is going to be a positive for the city, uh, for the Blue Jays, of course, but I think also for the people of the city. The hotel attached to the facility will be the player's home for weeks. Strict measures include never stepping foot outside the venue. It basically looks like a, a big home with a big backyard, and as long as the players don't leave the home or the backyard, there should be little to no threat to the general public. He says the plans look good on paper, but it all depends on players actually staying in that bubble. It's going to be pretty obvious if a professional baseball player is hanging out having a beer at a bar down the street. Like, the optics of that would be terrible. There's a high fly ball. They have three weeks to prepare for opening day, but they don't even know if this is where they'll play their regular season home games. And he got him. Something the government has yet to approve. Team President Mark Shapiro acknowledges the Jays and every visiting team would have to adhere to strict quarantine measures. We will look to do, uh, to end up with a similar result where we protect the public in every way possible, but we have to deal with not just you know, our team coming in and out of the country, but the visiting team as well. A challenge for sure for Major League Baseball's only non-American team playing in what many call the dome, soon really acting as one. Devin Haru, CBC News, Toronto.